All right. Good morning, guys. Uh, interesting start, I suppose. <laughs> Laman, how's it going? I don't know what's going on with the phone cam. That was weird. I wonder if it had something to do with um, me being in studio mode testing it out. Yeah, so, um, I did show this off last weekend, but I found this program for my phone, this app, and I can link it to OBS and use the phone's camera as, like, a webcam. So, you know, whenever the cat looks cute or whatever, I'll go ahead and show it off every once in a while. Uh, but it, it's pretty nice. I love it, I'm doing all right. All right. Thank you so much. Um, so we're going to get started. Uh, Zero Fox has some real quick patch notes for us, though. I mean, I don't know. I guess it was slightly better this week, but we still had a pretty rough time on one day. So we're moving forward, I guess. I don't know. Someday it'll get better. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and check out these patch notes. So real quick, uh, just mostly the Arsenal package was adjusted. Um, the comedy package did have one change. Um, Zero Fox added an early game sniper rifle with extra ammo for the late game as well. So that's something we can take a look at. The MC Focuser changed to have 1% accuracy drop off per tile, but 10 max effective range, after which it loses 5 damage per cell. Still effective, just no camping and landing craft, pretty much. That's reasonable. Iron Piercer improved, now has 3 rounds per clip, and very slightly reduced damage to compensate. That's pretty reasonable, too. Um, that's a very expensive item. And for only one shot, it was very expensive. Vacuum bomb costs decreased by 50%. <clears throat> Laser cannon renamed and slightly improved. Lobster men now have 25% laser resistance. That's 75% in the Pedia. And Hell Crabs, 40% laser, 20% energy resistance. So they're, they're a little resistant, but not a whole lot. Um, Sonic Pulse device should be mostly invisible and won't distract enemy, or aliens. Craft Ion Cannon reload times improved slightly. And then the change for the comedy... Removed a swear from Evil Box sound clips and replaced with a Futurama reference. So much appreciated. Well, the game loaded. So, so far so good. I guess we'll see how it goes after that. But, uh... Today I figured we'd probably do maybe a couple colonies or something. Heavy sniper rifle. Found some quick research. A repurposed AMR, anti-material rifle. Recreated with modern components and materials. Still quite heavy for untrained aquanauts, but packs quite a punch. Limited minimal accuracy range. Gains more accuracy with distance. Surface use only. That's interesting. 
<laughs> ah, no problem. Ooh. Ooh, excuse me. Minimum range of 15. Dang. So the armor piercing does 80 damage. Uh, but it has a calculation of 50 to 200 percent armor effectiveness 85 percent and armor pre-damage multiplier five percent so another potential armor damaging item which is pretty nice the hybrid does armor piercing does 70 power same uh calculation type for the damage but Armor effectiveness, 70%. Armor pre-damage multiplier, 25%. That's huge. So, even with a min damage of 35, a quarter of that, round up, it's 9 damage. And that's a min roll. So, that's pretty good. So this could potentially be something we use even now. Aw, oh, dang. I noticed that and I'm like, that's bigger than what... Uh, uh, Tear, Tear from the Deep had. There it is. Right. Yeah, so we'll definitely look into that. There it is. Hybrid ammunition for heavy sniper rifle made with use of aquaplastics and integrated zerbite circuitry. Increased armor damage, five round clips. Despite our hybrid ammunition types being usable both underwater and on surface, this ammo will still be used or still will be still limited to surface only due to heavy sniper rifle being a common ballistic firearm. Yeah, so we have to produce that one. Uh, we do have the Ion Piercer being produced. So the Bionic Laboratory, I think we built this. Oh, why did we build this? to do this. Could be. Or was it for this? Maybe this was it. Maybe that was a, the aqua plastic production. We can get it done quicker. I don't know. There we go. Armor piercing 80. 
film boy. What's going on, man? You got an ad? <laughs> I'm hanging in there, man. Thank you for asking. I haven't changed any settings, so... Um... Are you currently subbed? Maybe that expired? I don't know. Did Twitch change that recently? Maybe, I don't know. Hmm. I know I didn't change any settings, so my guess is either Twitch changed something or maybe losing the sub changed it? I don't know. But, man, sorry to hear about that. Yep, that's kind of what I'm thinking here. Oops. Uh... No worries. Looks like I missed the sub in the week when you were not streaming. Ah, gotcha. No worries, man. No worries. Thank you so much, though. Um. Wait, is this it? MC Armor? No, that can't be right. Oh gosh, still need an MC lab. Sucks, man. Hmm. Don't quite need that right now. get us 50 aqua plastics anyway. Although I doubt I'll really need it for armor repair tool. I don't really have a need for those. And I already built some anyway. So we need an MC lab now. Oh well. Ok, 
Okay. Aquanauts are kind of doing pretty well. They are really rocking the aliens now that we have much better equipment and stuff. Okay, I'll try to keep that in mind. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do a quick run. Oh, shoot. Our ogre armor is damaged. Alright, so this run will take a little bit longer. Yeah, I, I remember that now. Stabby, stabby in the dark. Cannon. Uh, let's see how much he moved, though. Really? Just outside of range? Ah, oh, one tile. No, he's still in the sub. Guardian Crow, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. All right, well, clearly this guy is over here in the corner. But we should be able to get up and stab him. Stabby, stabby. Hey, we still got some Zerbite, too. Only plus three to melee. Oh, well. 
before we get one day. Mm. Nice. Oh, get that dab in there. I saw things change on my monitor off to the side, and I'm like, uh-oh, what's coming? <laughs> Celine, good morning, man. How are you doing today? Uh, we could probably afford, like, 20. Be comfortable. Making breakfast? Nice. I had some leftover spam for breakfast. Nice. I'm glad to hear that, man. Okay. So heavily armored things are bad for the ion piercer. I feel like I'm forgetting something else. Yeah, 300 max damage is pretty good. Dang. Yeah, let's wait for daytime. Cool. Oh, no. There we go. Oh man, check this guy out. That's our ogre armor, guys. And it's literally a blast. Nice. <laughs> it shreks things. Well played, sir. Well played. Oh, 
Oh, dang. Switch these around. That was no, that was pretty good, man. That was pretty good. Oh, I forgot to test out moving these people around. Um, the Heens Weistein need to switch places. Yeah, you better run. And that's essentially what we did for the last half of the stream last Saturday. We just had Yuri run around and kill stuff. It's a lot of fun. Uh, hey, plus two to throwing accuracy. Nice. So we went from the broken MS or MS MC focuser to the ogre armor. But the ogre armor isn't without its uh, risks. Oh, nice. Right. Yep. So, actually, I think we're ready to do some colonies. What do you guys think? Build up some ammo. <laughs> I 
Well, of course we're going to level the first stage. That would be kind of silly not to. Right. Uh, three hours. Got him. Yeah, let's go ahead and reload. That's close enough. Let's have some fun with this one. <laughs> oh, Filmboy, did you see our Zerbite gathering tactic from the last couple weeks? Oh, son of a gun, I forgot to do this again. Oh, man. Well, that's where the focuser comes into play. Basically... Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, that works. So basically, the fighters that the colony send out uh, are slower than the Leviathan. So you can bait them out, and when you then just go back to base, they stop tracking you and just float around, and then they land somewhere. So that's guaranteed Zerbite. Well, you, there's only like three or four aliens in that mission, so you just run in there and use someone with the focuser, and you just kill them from the safety of line of sight. And, um... You know, you just quickly farm Zerbite. It's 40 per fighter. Oof. Sorry to hear that, Zero Fox. <laughs> I mean... The, the aliens, it's up to them. If they want to keep letting me farm them, they can do better. Like that. I mean, that's that's what we were doing. We had like one scout, and then like everyone else just went and killed. <laughs> exactly. It's a living. Oh shoot. Well, sir. Got in my way. <laughs> hey, 
the the aliens were happily donating to our cause. game. That's precisely what I intended to do. Yeah. That's understandable. I mean, if you really want. Right. And then XCOM has to get it, and then it's just one big mess. That's a disruptor. Wait, is this guy panicking already? Oh no, that's the guy that was sleeping. Got him. Okay. Kind of getting the feeling done with the inside. Uh, 
Um, I mean, I don't know if it's really necessary to work on it. out the window longing for peace oh dodge this hell is on what's going on man oh yeah minigun option would be nice those are a bite Plenty of melee training, though. And I just sold a heavy thermic lance, and I wasn't supposed to. Yeah, so watch this. So, it just landed, as predicted. So we pop that guy. Oh shoot, what's going on, Alzan? <laughs> yeah, that's actually uh, built in, though. Into the mod. Oh yes, yes. I mean it's it's a big boy, but uh there's plenty of room for improvement. Cuz even sonic blast rifles can damage it. Oops, come on. <laughs> that too. Five minutes and we have 40 zerbite. And next to no risk. So I was doing stuff like this, where I was sending this Leviathan here, like where the two bases, or two colonies overlap. Now for some reason that one's not sending one out. I don't know why. I must have taken it out recently. Well, we just happen to have some fresh Zerbite. No, not that. There. So in this mod, 
resources are very difficult to come by. <laughs> Murder time. <laughs> nice, Coviers. What's going on? Oh, posture check and hydrate. So, yeah, Zerbite and Aquaplastics are very... They're difficult to come by, and they're used in so much. So, we had to come up with a way to get more, because it's very challenging to get what you need when you don't have enough resources. Yeah. And a lot of the things that Zero Fox added require both of those. And then a lot of things require things that if you broke those down, you could get those resources. So, you know, like ion beam accelerators. That's used in quite a few things, but you could also break it down for Zerbite. And you get a lot of Zerbite, but you, go, you can only get ion beam accelerators from downed or landed subs. I don't... You might be able to get them from colonies, but I I can't recall. So, see, this guy finally landed. But we just raced. <laughs> we raced to him. Oh my god, I gotta remember to fix that. Jeez. Quick mind. We're being a dumb mind. So we got an Aquatoid way out there. Probably too far away. Or not. What do you have? Okay. Not really worried about that. And I guess we could try, but... Okay, so you got stuff like that. Yeah, pretty much. And the aliens in, in these subs don't have DPLs or anything. So you don't have to worry about that. Now they do have things like ion cannons and sonic cannons, so you do have to worry about that. But you don't have to worry about like mass destruction and stuff. That had to have been less than five minutes. Yeah, they don't have nukes in there. So there's our 40 Zerbite. Uh, plus the Ion Beam Accelerators. We actually do get two of those. You know, so it's... I mean, I don't know. It's... You can kind of call it cheesing, but at the same time... The game almost requires it, because throughout the whole playthrough, resources have been an issue. And I tried not to squander resources, I tried to be efficient, but, you know, you have to expand quickly, and you have to make sure you have ammo and weapons. Right, and yeah, we really couldn't do it until the Leviathan... I think we could have... The Manta can outrun him too, I think. Forty-six... Okay, versus thirty-two. So yeah, the Manta could do it too. I just... We were using the Poseidon before, and that's such a slow craft that it was a hassle getting the craft to the fighter. Yeah, the hammerhead could have worked, yeah. But I didn't want to waste the resources 
building a, a hammerhead. I mean, actually, I do have one, or did have one or two. Oh, but see, the pilots, you only have one, so you can't really safely do the mission. Oh, no, 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 you have cargo space 12. My bad. I mean, yeah, this was a possibility too, but that wasn't a craft that I was planning to use long term. So, you know, you just do that. So you just keep farming. Right. Yeah, and because the Leviathan can just be used for it all. Oh, I can still do a snapshot. Unless special is ion, we do not resist this, so probably something we don't want to mess with. Nice toss, bro. Oh my gosh. Well, good thing we have shields, right? Uh, that's 55. Just barely. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> it was as easy as that. <laughs> the interesting thing with the focuser is it gives us melee training. I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> Grenade magnet. Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. Wow, we have a lot of dissecting we need to do. That's why we built the bio lab. 
so we can dissect things. Okay. Does the ion cannon use Gauss ammo? Oh, just batteries? Okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. That grenade got... Th oh my gosh. It got through the shield and damaged the ogre. Come on. Really, game? by a, a tomato with shields I don't know man there he is this is very hot I guess Oh, there he is. Oh, there's more. That dab in there. What's going on, man? Uh, what? Oh, he's okay. He's he was right there. <sighs> okay, long distance shot. Got him. sunk my battleship. Oh, cool, man. So, if I turn the weapons off, they will not reload. Yeah, exactly what Zero Fox is saying. One battery gives you ten shots. Ten ammo. But it doesn't matter how many are missing, it's still going to use a whole battery and fill up one shot or ten shots. So, it takes one Zerbite to make one battery, but if... I, I'm basically maximizing my batteries. Because if I'm missing one shot, it takes one whole battery to fill that shot. Yeah. 
So, and, and because Zerbite has been such a needed resource, I wanted to maximize that. <laughs> gotcha. So that's why I keep doing that. If you turn off weapons, when they get to base, they will not reload. <laughs> they probably are. Um, it's break time, actually, so let's go ahead and take a real short break, guys. Uh, I don't really have to do anything, so it uh, shouldn't be too bad. I'll be right back. 